In this tutorial, we're going to learn about some selection basics, as well as how to draw and sketch basic shapes. So let's start by selecting. So in order to select things, we need to first have something to select. So let's say we have a sphere, a box, and a cone. We have three separate objects, and we can select them by clicking on them with the left mouse. And you'll notice that it has a little border around it now. And I can select individual shapes. And you'll notice that with each click, we have a, uh, a little toolbar that pops up for things that you can do, tools that you can do to edit this object. In order to select multiple, there's two different ways we can do that. We can um, click and then press and hold the shift button and click your other object, and now both of these objects are selected. I can also use a bounding box to select all my objects. And now all of my objects have been selected. I can always click on the grid to deselect anything. So if I click on the box, I can click on the grid to deselect it. Or I can click on something else on my object, or click on something different to deselect that last object. You want to be careful about um, the shift key when you're selecting, because as you press uh, or have an object selected, and you press and hold the shift key and start clicking on things, like edges and corners, they start being edited, so you just want to be careful with that. So a good, a good rule would just be to use your bounding box or to press and hold the shift key and then select your individual objects. So now let's talk about shapes. Okay, so I'm going to actually select all of my objects and I'm going to delete them, pressing the delete key. So now let's talk about drawing some shapes or some sketching basics. Now when I'm sketching, I can use the sketch tab up here to draw 2D shapes. So let's start with a rectangle. So I want to tell it first that I want to uh, define that rectangle on the grid. So I have to select my surface first, and then I can go and click on the rectangle. Okay, so first I have to click a starting point. Uh, Inventor is, or 123D Design is really good about prompting you as to what your next step is. So it says to click to start the first corner of your rectangle, and then you can um, define what you want your, uh, your sides to be in length. So I'm going to do one by two, and you can tab over to get the next one in place. And then I can press enter to lock both of those in place and enter it finally to get your rectangle. Okay, uh, another way that, another thing that I can do is I can put circles in. So I need to click on the grid first. I'm going to put uh, the center of the circle here. I'm going to define it as 1.5, enter, and that will lock the, the actual number in place. And then to actually exit the sketch mode, I can press this little green arrow, or I can press the enter key. It does the same thing. I also have polygons here that I can use. Uh, I'm going to click on the grid again. I'm going to start it over here, and you'll notice that as you start to define the size of your polygon, you have an option here of how many edges you want. So let's say that you want a pentagon. You can tab down and you can make that five, uh, five sides. So you can first change the dimension value. Let's say we want to make it one inch and we want five sides. And I'm pressing enter each time. So enter and now we have finished both of our shapes, or all of our shapes. Now this is very similar to um, the primitives. Under the primitives menu, so you have the same type of shapes as you do under the sketch menu, but they're just defined a little bit differently. So if I want to create a rectangle here, you see the shape of your rectangle is already defined. So there's a little bit less customization that you can do with that. However, you can still specify the length and the width of your shape, and then press enter. So they're a little bit quicker, but they're a little bit more, uh, less customizable. 